war of ideas and a civil war happening within the Muslim world, and we need to empower the moderating voices within that community in any way that we can. And we want those people here in our society, even in the most cynical way. If your only concern was defending free societies from extremism, you want moderate, secular, liberal Muslims in your society as that immune system. I mean, these, in my view, are the most important people in the world. I mean, these, are, these, these people go to the front of my line. The end game for civilization is an, an integrated, pluralistic, tolerant civil society, and we need diversity in that context. The end game can't be that we all silo ourselves in our separate, uh, more homogenized and radically disparate communities where we just have less interaction with one another. We're talking about the spread of ideas. When you're talking about jihadism, you're not, for the most part, even talking about people crossing borders as migrants and refugees. You're talking about YouTube videos that have been watched that people who may be third generation citizens or never immigrated at all, these people find these ideas compelling uh, and these ideas lead to action. And so if we're going to win a war of ideas uh, with the Muslim world, we need to empower the reforming voices within that community to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.